సో బేసికల్ వీళ్ళందరూ హిందూ డ్రెస్ చూసి చాలా ఇంప్రెస్ అయిపోయారు ఇంప్రెస్ అయిపోయి హిందూని ఒక ప్రిన్సెస్ లాగా చేస్తారు చేసేసి హిందూ తోటి ఫుల్ ఒక ఫోటో తీసుకుంటున్నారు ఓకే ఇప్పుడు వాల్కనో వైనరీ దగ్గర స్టాప్ అయ్యాము వాల్కనో నేషనల్ పార్క్ పోతు పోతు సో వైనరీ టోటల్ చూడండి ఇక్కడ ఎలాగున్నాయి ఈ ప్రాంతము ఈ ఇంత లావా అండర్ గ్రౌండ్ గ్రో అవుతున్న చోట వైనరీ మొక్కలు పెరుగుతున్నాయి అంటే అది సర్ప్రైజింగే అది కూడా ఇక్కడ వైనరీ తయారు చేస్తున్నారు అంటే అది రియలీ గ్రేట్ సో ఇప్పుడు మనము కాస్త లోపలికి వెళ్ళి వైన్ టేస్ట్ కూడా చేద్దాము లోపల ఎలా ఉంటుందో చూద్దాం సో బేసికల్ వీళ్ళందరూ హిందూ డ్రెస్ చూసి చాలా ఇంప్రెస్ అయిపోయారు ఇంప్రెస్ అయిపోయి హిందూని ఒక ప్రిన్సెస్ లాగా చేస్తారు చేసేసి హిందూ తోటి ఫుల్ ఒక ఫోటో తీసుకుంటున్నారు సో ఆయన పెద్ద సెలబ్రిటీ హిందూ ఇక్కడ purchased by its new owner in 99. We're growing four different varieties of grapes on site. Uh, we have the Pinot, Syrah, Cayuga, and Symphony grape growing at the moment. What else did you do? And how do you prepare the wine? Uh, so all of it's done here in our vat room. They crush all the fruit and then uh, put it in a stainless steel vat for the fermentation cycle. And then it racks in polyurethane tanks. and then it gets bottled labeled pork all right here on top. Oh okay. And you said how many varieties of grapes you have? Thank you for bringing these back. Thank you appreciate it. Enjoy. How many varieties of grapes you have? Four varieties Four. growing on. Oh okay. And are they can we see them? No. So test field out there and then the fields are behind us here. Can we go behind the fields or no? Uh, if you if you go out past the pavilions you can take a look you'll see some of the Cayuga field up there. Oh okay. And you uh, But the, the Pinot fields tucked out too far and the Syrah is tucked out too far. Oh okay. But you can take a look at some of the Cayuga wine fields. Well. And do you have grapes in there or no? Uh not right now. They're just kind of budding back from their uh hibernation. Oh okay. okay. All right. Thank you. So What are you going to So we are going to do a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. Um it is going to be $15 per person, but you do get to try six different wines. Oh, we get to try six different wines? Six different wines, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set this in the middle of you guys. So these are the six wines you are tasting today. Um it is two reds. two white um white wine blends and then two meads which is made up 100% all honey so it's pinot noir volcano red and volcano blush hawaiian guava grape macadamia nut honey and infusion tea wine mead great so basic సో మనకి ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ సిక్స్ డిఫరెంట్ వైన్స్ మనకు టేస్ట్ చేయడానికి ఫెసిలిటీ కల్పిస్తున్నారు దానిలో డిఫరెంట్ వైన్స్ ఉన్నాయి బినట్ నాయర్ వర్కెనో రెడ్ అన్నది అయితే నాకు బాగా తెలుసు బట్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దట్ రిమైనింగ్ వైన్స్ కూడా ఉన్నాయట త్రీ రెడ్స్ అండ్ టూ త్రీ వై వైట్ వెంత ఫామ్స్ కూడా ఉన్నాయట కయ్యూగా వై కయ్యూగా అని చెప్పారు పేరు కయ్యూగా 
anyway, uh, that is what uh, I told you. Fifteen dollar data. Uh, fifteen dollars. Uh, we will be able to taste fifteen by uh, by six months. Because our grapes that we grow here does not nearly produce enough that we would like to. So this is a nice medium body Pinot, plum, currant, and prune. Peppering oak to the finish. Really good to pair with your lamb, your pepper, ceramics, and big salmon. Due to it more being on the juicy and jammier side, it is really good to better pair with like more of the seafood side of foods. Um, but of course, it's still really good with like your red meats as well. So okay. good. So you enjoy. So for the next one is our Volcano Red. Um, so it is going to start off our semi-sweet, one of our top sellers here. It is a blend of 15% of the Muscat grape as well as 70% of a Cabernet grape, both coming from California again just because we are not able to grow it here. It is the first of our fruit blends, so it does also include 15% of these Jabuchi Cabo Berries or Brazilian Bark Berry. So because of these berries being in here, you are going to get some nice cranberry notes, um, really juicy and jammy again for this one, and then more of a spicy peppery on the finish. Um, really good surprise. So, this is Volcano Red, right? Volcano Red, uh, different, uh, uh, couple of varieties of grapes to try this tomorrow. This is a good one, and it's a good one, and it's a good one, and it's a good one. So again, the Ikar Pandindi. So, I mean, basically, I mean, Indian base for convert to me. Two students. Chinnaga round shape. This is 100% fermented Moku macadamia nut honey. We ferment it with a lighter yeast, cut it with cold water. It's silky smooth and delicate for a honey mead. It's natural earthy nutty tone just from the honey we're fermenting on this one. Classified, classified one of our desserts, but it's just right outside the semi-sweet at 6% residual sugar. No. And then what, what, uh... Macadamia nut honey made, okay. 100%. Yeah, no, no macadamia nuts in production on this. It's just the honey fermented. Oh, oh. So that's exactly what you're drinking. Just local macadamia nut honey. Honey, okay. Thank you. Tasting notes on this one, it's going to be naturally earthy, nutty, and the fusion to one of um, this one is going to be basically like the last, um, this is going to be the same base as the last one you guys just tried. Um, so we do grow here, tea here on the property, it's a little over one acre or two. Um, in this one it is going to be the black tea. So the black tea is going to be all of these leaves right over here. Silver needle, first leaf and last leaf. We sun dry it here and then we send it off to a company so they can ferment it and roast it for us. Um, after all of that, once we get it back, we do take 15 pounds of that and we cold steep it into the matna honey for 8 to 12 weeks. So with the leaves being in there, it is going to let off nice um, tea notes as well as some caffeine as well. So you get that strong um, black tea note coming in through the nose and through the front of the wine. Um, you are going to get some slight bitterness as well from the straight from the tea. And then that sweet matna honey on the finish. Um, this whole bottle is equivalent to like a whole cup of coffee and caffeine wise, so it's not much to do a whole lot, but there is caffeine in there. And then um, you can also pair it with Japanese foods, breakfast foods, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, great. So, do you enjoy? Thank you very much. And what's your name? My name is Kaisen. K-Y-S-O-N. K-Y-S-O-N. Okay. Kaisen, very nice. Yeah. Thanks for explaining us and giving uh, giving all the details about these different wines. It's my job. I love to do my job. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>